I spent the weekend um, at my best friend's house. We are very similar in our ways, our parenting ways. Um, and I had a big wow um, watching her being a parent to her two girls. The way that she interacts with her kids, it kind of made me want to turn on and run. Um, a lot of shouting, a lot of swearing, a lot of uh, making your daughter feel like she's nothing, um, belittling her and just, I thought, sure. Um, so it was quite hectic. Um, Atreyu, normally in that sense, we would have a weekend where the kids would last two hours with each other and then they'd be clinging to this hair out. Um, whereas this time it was completely different. Trey was good. He listened. Um, the interaction was completely different. The, the kids played. They all three played. And there's um, the one daughter is the same age as the Trey, and the other one is ten. It's a five-year um, gap. But normally it would be a, a weekend of screaming matches and throwing temper tantrums because the kids are fighting. And I didn't have to raise my voice once or um, reprimand my son for anything because if he needed to speak, I listened. Um, and I found with her oldest daughter that all she wanted was for her mother to actually focus on her and listen. Um, and I spent a lot of time with Tyler and listened and gave, you know, feedback to her where I possibly could. Um, we spent a lot of time together on the floor, just chatting and, you know, just spending quality time together. Um, and when Sunday came, Chantal had a blowout with Tyler and started screaming That's the mom with the daughter That's okay. correct. Started screaming, shouting, swearing and carrying on and I looked at her and I said to her, if this is how you're going to be a parent, I won't come back. Um, I said to her, because I can't. Mm -hmm. It's just, you can't, you can't do this to your kids. Um, so it was a big wow weekend for me and um, she's, she's willing to, to have me share which is really nice. So it was an awesome weekend. Excellent. So I have a question for you in that. Is what do you think is supporting your son, Atreyu, in, as you said, now he, you know, you didn't have to, you didn't have to raise your voice. He was much more cooperative. He was now no longer in the fighting mode with his mm -hmm. friends. So it was, was no longer just two hours, but it was longer. So what's changed there for you that's created that result? Just his awareness of the fact that we're going to somebody else's house. There's a certain way you behave. Um, no fighting. Which, which he knows, um, whereas before there was constant grabbing and snatching and the fighting, the challenging each other. So you're um, saying that he's just more aware now than he's before? He's very much more aware. And I think it's because I'm paying more attention to what he needs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm spending more time focusing on, on him as a child instead of going, I'm busy, I can't deal with you now, or we're having a chat, we can't deal with you now. Um, the, the guests that were at the party that we were at uh, kept saying to me, um, what have you got him on? Because he's mm. just, he's completely different. Mm. It's like, mm. it's just, he's, I'm aware of him and mm. you, you just interact differently. She, and she said, the one girl said to me, she said, I've never seen you this calm with him. You, you know me mm. going, ranting and raving and screaming and shouting because the kids are fighting and you get all uptight. And she said, you know, you're just a lot calmer. So... It's the fact that we're both aware of each other and that there are changes that are going. Okay, so great. Two questions for you. So before you changed whatever you were doing, right? Rate out of 10, how, how that, that sense of cooperation was going between you and him? Zero. <laughs> yeah, so zero out of 10 is like, it was zero cooperation and it actually just was hectic and shouting, right? So where would you say that you and him are now at? after you've done something different? I'd say we're at a six. Okay, six out of ten. So that's yeah, a, nice. it's a significant change, right? Big, big change, yeah. My next question to you is, so what would you advise to any parent who's also struggling at a naught out of ten, getting cooperation or struggling with their child? What would you say is the key thing that that parent should be focusing on, on that would open up the possibility of getting at least to a six out of ten within a space of literally a couple of days? Be aware of what your child needs. Be, be aware of your child as a person and not treat them like they're nothing, um, talk to them. Talk to them in a manner as if you had the respect that, that they deserve. Um, and just be more willing to be helpful. Um, okay. I found because I, for myself, I was always pushing Trey back. 
Chantal does the same thing. She pushes her daughter back, and her daughter's ten, and and has they obviously have a really large um, clash. A conflict, yeah. yeah, their personalities clash yeah. completely. So it's it's from my point of view, watching them over the weekend, it's the fact that she doesn't listen. Her daughter comes and says something, and she goes ballistic. I'm think busy, and just go away. So. Listen, pay attention to what they need. So there it sounds like that in previous situations, it's just what you need, what you need, what you need. And now you're saying, hang on, maybe he's got needs, let me listen yes. to them. It doesn't necessarily mean you can meet them, right? But at yes. least you're saying, I respect that you've got needs and let me hear them because yes. I value that you've also got needs, right? Correct. Okay. Great.